devour, devour. I have to warn everyone, warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. What's going on everyone? Phil here and welcome to a new DSP Tries It. Fast food, fast food, right? Hopefully I don't have a heart attack. <laughs> And today, we're going back to Burger King. It's been a while. Last time we were there was a few months back. But the oddity of the uh, macaroni and Cheetos. Remember that? Ooh. So, they had a new advertisement while we were watching television this week. A new burger called The Big King. Now, here's the truth. It's really not new. Because the bottom line is, all it is, is they've taken components of their already existing sandwiches to combine them into something different, all right? From what we saw in the commercial, it's supposed to be two beef patties cheese so it's like a double double whopper almost double cheeseburger whopper but instead of having all the typical toppings of a whopper you know the veggies and all that it has six six pieces of bacon and cannibalism i loved red meat all right and you know a little bit of condiments i'm not even sure what condiments we're gonna see here now just to forewarn everyone this is actually one of the most pricey things i've ever gotten for dsp tries i'm not even kidding you this burger is like 650 because it's like a double whopper with all that bacon. So, warning, if you're looking for something that's like a good value for the buck, this is probably not, they're considering this more of the premium product line because they're really stacking on the meat, okay? So let's take a look at their Big King Burger. Okay, so, typical Whopper bun it looks like, right? Looks like it's a combination of both ketchup and mayonnaise that they put on the top of this thing. And I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, yes, six strips of bacon. Holy heart attack. Can cannibalism. So again, <laughs> I'm salivating at the goddamn mouth. Oh, I want to fuck her brains out. I have no fucking self-control. You're looking for something healthy. You're looking for something cost effective. You're not getting it here. Okay, cheese, as you can see, is two big Whopper patties down there. One, two, with lots of cheese. And I'm just curious if they put anything on the bottom or if they just made it just like a cheese on the bottom. Let's see. Oh, quite a big burger. Nope, plain on the bottom, which is not a surprise. All right, so really it is. It's the double Whopper patty with cheese and bacon and ketchup mayo. Is it good? And is it worth six fifty? Is the question. So, let's test it. I'm assuming it's going to taste just like a normal burger, you know. I think that's just regular mayo and ketchup. And this is what Burger King's been doing recently. They just take their existing ingredients and put them in a different combination. They should act like it's a new product, when in reality, you could just order it yourself. Give me a double Whopper with no toppings, uh, but cheese and bacon. All right, so I'm just gonna need a bite here. Kind of right, here Devour, devour. Hmm. Good. It's, it's gross. That's terrible. That's such a terrible thing. Don't you know how to keep your mouth closed during a meal? <laughs> the thing I like about Burger King, you always get a ton of meat. You're not gonna get skimped on the meat. Even if you get their cheeseburger, it's a decent amount of meat. It's good, the beef's good. Cheese, juicy by the way. It's not overdone or dry. The bacon is that applewood smoked bacon, which, eh, typically, you know, it, it does, for me, it doesn't matter if it's applewood smoked or not, but it's good. The only thing I have to say, it's a little bit dry, and I actually wish that they had put one of the condiments on the bottom. I actually wish that they had either done the mayo or ketchup on the bottom, because my tongue ends up being pretty dry after the bite. All right, let me get another one here. Devour. Devour. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. My disgusting pig like mouth. Don't you know how to keep your mouth closed during a meal? It is good. Look, every bite, tons of meat and cheese. And that's also one thing. You get some of these burgers, right? Sometimes you end up with a bite that's like all the condiments or it's all 
the toppings. This one, every bite, you're getting a full, hearty mouth, mouthful of the meat and the cheese. But honestly, the one thing that's lost, like I said, I'm not really tasting the condiments at all, probably because they're on the top. All right, I'll take one more bite. Let me fucking unleash the beast. That's it, I'm going beast mode. Ah! You feed, feed me more. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. Holy fucking shit. Relax. Some people just can't control themselves. Phil has gouty fat butt. Devour. Devour. Hmm. Oh. Oh my God. It's terrible. That, it's, it's disgusting in my opinion. Like, I'm actually disgusted. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh my god. Ah. Finally. I did get a mouthful of meat that time. Oh. I got a mouthful of meat and a little bit of sauce. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Totally gay. And that's always been my belief. And it always will be my belief. No one's gonna change that. Pretty good. Honestly, what this is really reminding me of, I may not remember this, about 10 years ago, we were looking at this new initiative, the Stackers. And they had the double stack, the triple stack, yes, they even had a quad stack. Now, it wasn't the Whopper burgers, it was the regular burgers. But it was cheese and meat and cheese and meat with uh, mayo, and they had some kind of a special tangy sauce. This is just, obviously, the ketchup and the mayo. It kind of reminds me of the flavor of that, because it's really the same meat and the same cheese. Um, so it's good. It's definitely good if you're looking for something that's really going to fill you. This will do it. Ton of meat, ton of cheese. Only complaint, it is a bit dry. Right now, that bite that I took there was a little bit better because the condiments are more towards the center, you know what I mean? But you're going to get dryness on the outside, which is a little annoying. Um, Big King's pretty good. For a manly burger, right? You like a lot of meat. You want a hearty burger. This is it. Um, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. They are very high in acid. It's true, acid levels for your body. So if you actually eat a lot, you're actually gonna raise the natural acid level of your body and make yourself susceptible to diseases that have to do with acid, including one that I know to all too well, gout. Gout, 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 I learned the hard way, okay? But years ago, I had a situation where I had an acid, uric acid buildup in my body because I had a bad lifestyle where I was drinking too much, I was eating too much red meat and acidic foods. We just had a troll in the chat. Celebrate gout 100. So, har har har, Phil had gout earlier this year, and he talked about it publicly because he talks about this stuff publicly. He shares it, right? He's not ashamed he's not a one of these people who hides the personal shit about his life he talks about it and so i brought this up and everyone knows that i had gout earlier this year and i don't have it anymore i haven't had it since shit i'm trying to think the last flare-up was sometime during the summer you know because i changed my lifestyle i don't drink as much i'm not eating as much red meat i'm a lot more healthy now and because of that i haven't had any issues with it but they think it's like funny to bring that shit up. Look, another one, fall gout. How is this funny? Like, what is funny about that? It's over, like it's so outdated. Find something else. It's not even funny. It's not annoying, it doesn't annoy me. It's not funny, it's not annoying. All you do is make yourself look stupid. I, do I need to instruct people on how to troll? <laughs> it's, you're terrible at it. My God, you're bad. So there you go. The answer is, could I possibly get like a, an, out, an outburst of gout again? I could actually, if I don't watch my diet. If I either start drinking heavily on a regular basis, or I start eating a lot of red meat and shellfish again, or if I stop drinking the cherry juice that I drink every day for dinner, yeah, I probably could have a big bad outbreak. But 
in general, as long as I stay on the regimen I'm on, I should be okay. How's the gout, Phil? Oh my god, here's oh, another one. Playing. How's the gout, the Phil? Oh. <laughs> another idiot. This is great. How's the gout? How's the gout? Who was it? Say it again. No, say it again. Say, how's that gout? Go ahead. How's that Seattle there? Come on, say it again. Man, you're so dumb. I know you'll say it again. Say it. Say, how's that gout? <laughs> Come on. So with the gout, how's your daughter? <laughs> the gout. He's still saying it. How's the gout? <laughs> now, what ended up happening was... I ended up getting an acid level uh, imbalance back in 2015, which I didn't know I ever had, but apparently it's hereditary in my family because my aunt had it her whole life and didn't fucking tell anybody. Thanks, aunt. Feels the gouty fat, but feels the gouty fat, but. The only reason I give it a 3.5, number one, because it's dry a little bit, and number two, because the price is really expensive. Six fifty for a burger? And the other thing is, it's not like there's any premium ingredient on it. There's no barbecue sauce. There's not some premium cut meat or bacon. It's just the other ingredients you can get normally. And they're charging a premium price because of the amount that's there. But really, if you're going to spend that much, I would like something above and beyond. So for me, it's good. It tastes great. But I like a little bit more, and I wish that there was a condiment on the bottom. So 3.5 out of 5 for the Big King Burger from Burger King. I hope you enjoyed another Dance Tries It. I'll see you next time.